Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have such a special and important message to be bringing you in this video where I'm going to be covering the potential very big move to the downside that we can be seeing here inside of the cryptocurrency market. I'm going to be explaining how we need to be prepared for this very big move, how we can actually be trading it and protecting our capital at the very least, even better making money on the way down. And all I need from you is one single thing. I only ask one thing of you in this video, and that is that you just pay full attention, listen and understand what I am saying, because I will be carrying a very important message for you that you just need to understand fully. So block out all the distractions around you. This might be a little bit of a longer video than normal, but I can assure you every single minute you want to pay attention to. Do not miss any of it as I talk you through uh, some of the latest action within side of this cryptocurrency market, specifically starting here on Bitcoin. And then I would like to, you know, give you the context of what's happening right now, what pattern we are within and the breakout of this, how it's going to be of just utmost importance to the whole of the cryptocurrency market. You know, it can even affect these altcoins. So yeah, that's, that's all I want from you in this video. I don't ask anything else other than your attention. So that sounds like a really fair deal here, no? Um, so without further said or do, let's begin the analysis. So focusing here, first of all, inside of the Bitcoin market, I must just say, by the way, thank you for all the support over on Twitter. I'm bringing you this video today because you smashed those likes and retweets very, very quickly. You wanted this video, so here it is. And I want to start off, of course, first by bringing you the context, okay, and why you want to be listening to what I'm saying. If you are new to this channel, you will have missed many of the pretty epic calls that we've done, you know, We've given calls such as originally shorting $65,000 down to $32,000, longing that $29,000 all the way back up to $69,000, reversing that into a short position at $69,000, bringing it down to the latest lows. So we are a community that is very, very, very accurate with our calls, okay? We're getting very precise levels, very precise days that these levels are occurring. And so I want to just bring to your attention the latest pattern that we are within right now that we have been trading for for about one month just over one month okay and you may or may not have seen this um depending on whether you're in the group if you if you are a member you obviously know this pattern i just want to bring this to everybody's attention so we're all on the same playing field right now okay and what i bring your attention to is this triangle okay so just for a bit of reference and context okay of course i'm going to be going over towards the middle end of the video what is happening right now and how we are looking to trade this over the really the next few weeks to months but i first of all need to bring you back about a month to when this pattern first begun Okay, and it was it was within this idea of trading a triangle. Okay, you can see here we have an A, B, C, D, and E triangle. Okay, if we just zoom into this, okay, this was obviously from a from a members stream, but you can see how we're going into here looking for an A, B, C, D triangle. Again, this was about just about one month ago, just just over a month ago. Recognizing already where we can be putting in the high of that current move that was obviously from thirty five thousand dollars to just over $40,000 to where we can be putting in the B, C, D, and E. And each step of the way of this, it was, it was really, really, really nice. You can see here as we zoom out a little bit how the A was put in at, uh, you know, above the daily. We obviously took those last series of highs, bringing it down to B, which obviously are $35,000, which again, if you were in the group, you know, we gave that trade of the week off of the $35,000 long. Bringing it up to the top of C, where what happened? We formed that swing failure pattern at C. And then we were looking to bring it down to D, which was, as you can see here, just below the weekly, before bringing it back up to around $42,000 once more. So you can see this prediction, as you can see here, not a bad prediction, right? Uh, over a one month in advance, being able to call the highs of A, B, C. What we were looking for, this was posted uh, on the 6th, so just last Sunday in the, you know, off the back of the Champions live stream. <laughs> now we were looking for the D. And of course, what were we looking for within this D? It was, of course, that move just below the weekly before it moved back up to around $42,000. Well, fast forwards a few days in time, and we did, in fact, get that move 
up to $40,000. And how did we get it? We got it after the move slightly down below the weekly. As you can see here, how it progressed, we moved down, tapping the liquidity below the weekly level, with then this really quick move to the upside to bring us up to $40,000. $2,000, which was such a key region in the chart. It's obviously where we had so much volume, big, important support resistance level. And it was just this area of real big, you know, real resistance that we had to see price try and get through. Of course, we also had that confluence with the CC, which I want to briefly talk about in this video. But the main important context that you understand here is that how this has been progressing over the past, yes, over the past one month, being able to recognize the high, low, high, low, and high of every single pivot, every single pivot there, each high and each low called one month in advance. And to even get that D off of last Sunday's live stream, which was, it was, let's be honest, it's pretty magical. The way that we come down, took that weekly, <laughs> so perfectly for the move back up to $42,000 zone, where as you all know, what happened at $42,000, we hit that CC. And I actually want to just emphasize something here. And this part I want to talk about is hopefully going to be acting to you as so much inspiration, as somebody that truly, truly, truly loves what I do, I just I just want to share this passion with you right now because I love this. I absolutely love and live for this trading environment. I I, I, I want to share it with you. I truly want to share it. I want to inspire you. And I want you to see what's not only possible, but how much you can just have fun every single day doing this. And I want to talk to you specifically about this CC level. Okay. This is only going to take a few minutes, but it's just, again, it's just something that is very important if you truly, truly love and want to do this alongside me. And it's talking here about, about this CC. Okay. So obviously what happened up at $42,000, we knew we were at a resistance. We knew this was the potential E, okay? Although yes, very quick, I'm not gonna deny that, but nevertheless, still very well-respected technical analysis. We come up to the high of, of, of E there at $42,000, again, from, from this prediction of the triangle. So what happens, we, we, cut, we come up into the CC. And again, as I was saying in yesterday's video, it was a relatively difficult short position. Why? Because of the fact you had to be very, very, very precise with that second swing failure pattern. There is no room for error. There's no room to be even half a percent off. You had to be on the dot to the dollar to get that trade. Any other, even half a percent out off of that CC, you miss the trade for sure. For sh for without it's undeniable. And here you can kind of see the, the picture of how this is progressing. And what I want to bring your attention to here is of the absolute utmost, utmost importance of having this dedication, having this hard working ethic and enjoying every step of it. And what I want to bring your attention to is the fact that we have this CC Fibonacci level. And I, I, I know for a fact, <laughs> do, your, do your own research. Put on the CC Fibonacci level, okay? Adjust it to this latest pool that obviously the, the, the pool that we're referring to here for this CC, by the way, is the high from the 2nd of March down to the low, obviously, on the 7th of March there. Bring it across, and you can see we have this really brilliant CC, which was our, acting as our resistance for this, you know, very big move to the downside. You can see the absolute accuracy there. And what I, what I will say to you is, go, go, go on, put on the, the .65, okay, which is obviously the original uh, golden pocket. And I obviously modified this to make my own called the CC. And a lot of people, as I kind of write in this tweet, a lot of people at first used to, you know, laugh and mock me, hey, this, this guy's uh, adjusting Fibonacci levels, uh, you know, people really, really weren't happy with it. But guess what? Now, everybody that laughed at it, everybody's using it. Why? Because I'd done the hard work originally of recognizing, doing statistics, hours and hours and hours of journaling, hours and hours and pages and pages of statistics to recognize what works and what doesn't. And to recognize that this is not just a one-off occurrence, but this is consistently happening, and in, not just on cryptocurrency, but in the greater markets as well. But I mean... I mean, I'm, I'm permanently focusing this on Bitcoin today. And it's just this phenomenon of, you know, some people are going to laugh, some people are going to going to say whatever. But at the end of the day, you need to do what makes money. And if we can see advantages and edges, uh, we need to take those advantages and edges. And I just want to read very briefly what I wrote up about this. And hopefully this can make you understand why we put in the amount of work that we put in every single day, every single day. OK, let me read this out for you very briefly. 
Working hard every single day is the driving force behind my success. And the passion for winning is the fuel. As you know, I inject into my veins every day <laughs> this competitive nature. I absolutely love the competitive nature of trading. For me, it's absolutely brilliant. But uh, I digress and continue here. So I have traded for hundreds and thousands of hours. Countless days of no sleep with brain-filled thoughts overloaded on how to perfect my trading edges. Okay, so yeah, I'm a guy that's basically I am totally addicted to this. I, I, I find it hard to switch off. But anyway, hundreds of pages written from my trading journal and statistics gathered. From this extremely long and hard work ethic, I can proudly say I have created the unique strategy of marking the daily, weekly, monthly levels in a replicable, <laughs> replicable and proven system. Okay, this is the first thing I want to bring your attention to. Well, within the madness of myself, you know, th these daily, weekly, and monthly levels was a strategy totally created by myself. And now you actually see many, many, many people trying to replicate this. Not only replicate it, but just, you know, taking the strategy and not often giving me the credit, <laughs> by the way, I say. But this was a this was a unique strategy brought to the market. And you you, you know, if you know how to mark these levels, how how absolute perfect they are when we're looking at, you know, moves to the weekly, moves to the daily. So, you know, these levels are on point every single, every single time. Oh, they're brilliant. But anyway, what we've not only pioneered this, we also obviously what I'm referring to today is the modification of the uh, existing Fibonacci ratio after consistently seeing the golden pocket not be accurate enough for my liking. Okay. The CC Fibonacci bringing you Okay, so yeah, e.g. That, that that was RCC Fib. And again, I actually had a comment, a very interesting comment from somebody on this video. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find it. But there was an interesting comment saying from someone, oh, the, you know, the, the, the amount of percentages is not big enough to make a difference. And, and this is the wrong, <laughs> this is the wrong answer, period. Again, if you if you have the 6-5, for example, here, you, you miss the trade. If you, have a, if you have a higher Fibonacci ratio, you have missed the trade. You have to not be under this mindset of, you know, I mean, I I find the the comment the comment um, uh, ignorant, I suppose, to to say that you know it doesn't you know it's 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 half a percent. It doesn't matter. The, the thing is, this this is to the dollar accuracy. If you have anything other than the CC here, you you get stopped out or you miss the trade period. Like this accuracy, what some people still mock is is ignorant period because this accuracy is needed if you truly are a professional if you truly want to make money off of this you know that every percent matters every percent matters without us without a shadow of a doubt and it's this you know it separates it separates the average from from the greats in this market um so i just wanted to really bring your attention to that but i'm going to continue with the rest of this post uh, bringing to the crypto, you know, we obviously, Chart Champions brought to the crypto market the order flow. Of course, we didn't uh, create order flow. This has been in the stock market for a long time, but we were the original people that brought this to the cryptocurrency markets, of course, alongside partnering with EXO, um, which has been a great partnership. And, you know, it's it's really changed the whole game. And, uh, you know, so to bring into crypto order flow, in-depth volume analysis, Okay, obviously we were the first to teach this with inside crypto. The fake out theory, level to level trading, amongst so much other strategies inside of this space. We were not able to become pioneers inside of the cryptocurrency market by accident or luck. We lead this space through hard work, dedication, and passion for what we do. Look around you and you see thousands of people now using the strategies we originally taught and created. Trading is not work. For me, trading is a game, a game I love to play, and being a champion of the game is the cherry on top. Some people used to laugh at my creations, now they use them religiously. I am happy to share my knowledge and insights, so please study the strategies well and use them with the respect they deserve. And now <laughs> let's go and watch Igor make millions from Sculpt Trading, the CCTR strategy. Igor, if you don't know, this legendary coach right here. Okay, 10 plus years in this game already. And for the next 10 years, I look forward to waking up every morning with a smile on my face, looking for the next trade to win and saying CC Paul send their regards. So, okay, those few minutes here, I've caught briefly gone off of the technical analysis, off of this triangle. But, you know, why have I emphasized this, this so much? It's because the top of the E was put into the dollar of the CC. And how do we do this? How do we know these levels? It's, it's through the hard work and dedication. So there's one thing that I want to emphasize to you right now, ladies and gentlemen. And that is, of course, Chart Champions, we're an educational group. We're not a signals group. And the only way I just want to give you a really realistic expectation here, if you want to reach our level of trading, which is achievable, it is possible, it will require 
uh, dedication. You, you cannot think that you're going to come in and spend, you know, a, half an hour a week uh, learning to trade and you're going to become a profitable trader. This is not a realistic expectation. Trading is a is something that you can learn. It's a skill that be, that can be learnt, but that is it. It is a skill, it is a talent. Um, you know, you don't have to be, you know, we're all born the same way, so to speak. And, you know, we all start bad. Like myself, I started bad. I started as a bad trader. I lost loads of trades, lost some money. But with time, I recognized, hey, this is what I'm doing wrong. This is what I need to do. I'm recording, I'm, you know, journaling, recording statistics. And, you know, every day trying to improve myself. Even today, I'm not being lazy. I'm not being consistent. I'm, I'm, putting in the effort, which I truly know is required. If you not only want to remain the best, but you want to be a pioneer, creating new strategies, understanding how the market's working. You need to be ahead of the curve, ahead of the game. If you're complacent, if you're lazy, um, I, I don't think you're going to make it. So this is just one thing, you know, I don't want to be put too much of a downer on, on, on anybody, but, um, I suppose, if anything, that's hopefully uplifting because it is possible if you put in the time and effort. But without that time and effort, then, you know, you're obviously giving yourself a great disadvantage. But then, anyway, that's just something I wanted to emphasize there as we looked at that CC and obviously the rejection off of the top of our E wave of the triangle, Madre Mia, to the CC to the dollar, something that we can just say is, is pretty brilliant. Okay, so when we zoom out a little bit here, okay, let's just temporarily hide this. Let's just hide this a second. And we can see how we are shaping up the market at the moment. So how is the market shaping up? We clearly have a defined, very strong resistance coming in at around $46,000. I, I personally would, would think it would be making sense to recording now some of these levels writing them down at the very least on a bit of paper. So we clearly have clear, you know, very well-defined resistance coming at about $46,000. And this is with an old support resistance level, obviously within this very nice range that we have at the moment. I mean, in a, you know, 40, 46 to 47 thousand dollars there. And on, on the flip side, we well, obviously our biggest support is still, you know, there at that thirty thousand dollars. But we're starting to form this kind of mini range that's giving us the support of about thirty five thousand dollars. So we're almost in like a ten thousand dollar range. And, you know, we're coming in between, you know, I want I want to say like, the, the you know, that support there. You know, thirty-five thousand dollars has obviously held us up now a few times here. The the resistance, in my opinion, is a lot clearer at 40, 46 to forty-seven thousand dollars. That's a clear resistance. The support is um, not quite as clear as we've seen a bit of a move here on the Bitcoin chart. The the the, the support is not quite as defined. The, the the resistance is extremely well defined. The support we obviously have. You know, thirty-five thousand dollars. It's a clear SR level. We got some nice volume building up here, but I wouldn't say it's as strong. You know, the resistance is clearly defined and strong. The support is is a, a little bit more loose, so to speak. And the way that we're looking to get into the longs again, this this video is not to be designed to give you fear. Actually, um, the trades that I'm looking for down here are longs. Okay, so if I'm swing trading, price is dropping. I'm, I'm looking for the longs. I, I'm, I would not saying I would short down down here. By the way, so it's not meant to be a, a fearful video. It's um, you're just giving you an opinion that you need to be aware of, okay? And this perspective of, of being, aware, you know, prepared for, for further downside. Um, but nevertheless, uh, we, you know, we, we have those two really clearly defined support and resistance levels, okay? And within this, we can start to now pull some, you know, some, some really significant, uh, you know, some really significant Fibonacci levels. And on top of this, also be aware still of that triangle. So if we recognize a standard triangle, we obviously know we have this impulse triangle. The, the standard expectation is if you get an impulsive move to the downside and then you put in this type of triangle, generally speaking, this is expected, of course, to, to break to the downside. One thing to bear in mind, that is not a guarantee and there is no guarantees in trading. Just because that is the expected occurrence does not mean it's going to break to the downside. We have to trade what is happening. So I would always view this as still a 50-50. This is a triangle which we can say is expected to break to the downside. But why would we want to trade off of this expectancy rather than what's actually going to be happening? We are granted within this market several long positions and several short positions, even for the swing trades. Again, we were very confidently longing at at $35,000. Yes, the price could have broke down lower, but we took that long from $35,000, of course, up to $45,000, over $10,000 move to the upside before obviously putting that high in and we fell down. Again, this was back on the 24th of February last month. 
But nevertheless, I want to just emphasize here, we're not scared to take longs in this market, just as we're not scared to take shorts in this market. We are recognizing good, high probability trades and we're taking them. We're not thinking, oh my God, we're in a bull market or oh my God, we're in a bear market. No, we're just thinking, where's the next level I can trade? Where's the next level I have an entry, a stop loss and a target? And I'll take that trade every day of the week if it's giving me a good probability. Okay, so I'm not affected by any kind of underlying bias, any underlying thoughts. Give me a chart, I'll trade the chart. I'm not I'm not, not listening to news, I'm not researching news articles, I'm not res you know, I'm not caring about on-chain analysis or anything like this. I'm I'm saying give me the chart, I will tell you what's happening. How can you know that this is possible? Well, just take a look at every single prediction that I've been making over the past few years here and um and how accurate they are time and time and time again. I mean, the latest one here being every single high, low, high, low and high that is the A, B, C, D, and E of the latest triangle there. And I and I and I just say to you, <laughs> you know, this is done by technical analysis only. Okay. So yeah, within this triangle, of course, if we if we are breaking it down to the to the downside, our, our next big level of support is there coming at around thirty two, thirty one thousand dollars. Of course, if we break that are down lower than we obviously are going to again level to level trading if we break down from this if we do break down from the triangle and there's no fake out remember the fake out theory we need to be aware of the fake outs because they're a very common occurrence um but nevertheless if we are getting a strong breakdown uh be it a fake out first to the upside let's uh pay attention to this but um you know that that bigger bigger support there coming in around 31 32 thousand dollars being our first weekly level Again, yeah, doesn't mean I'm going to preset any orders, but it is a level I'm for sure aware of. Uh, obviously, on the intraday, more on the lower term time frames, we bounced off of our old uh, high volume node of the previous range, which has acted as support once and twice. So we are currently trading within this more local range. On the, on the, on a very low term time frame. I mean, down here on the fifteen minute chart, you we can uh, you can start to see that again. It's kind of like a range within a range within a range. It's all a fractal, but we have that more local resistance there at forty thousand dollars. That more you know local support there. If you were listening yesterday, which was coming in around 30, 38,500. Um, 38, Again, this is more for your day traders. There's trades to be had in here. No need to be scared, fearful, or anything like this. And we 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 start to see like the Fibonacci levels respected on. Every time frame from this high to the low, you can see when you zoom in on this secondary touch, how you came up to the absolute dollar once again of that CC at uh, 845 for another rejection, bring you down to the low of that high volume node. So the CC there on every single time frame. FYI, I know that this is hilarious that some people say, hey, your CCO Fibonacci levels only work because you have so much volume. Uh, <laughs> and to that, I say touche. Because actually, this is something that's really funny, and I just want to bring your attention to, uh, and that is that chart champions. And this is actually official. We are the biggest volume players in the whole of Bybit. In the whole of Bybit, this was within a few days. We are trading billions, billions of US dollars, and that is officially the number one, number one in the whole of the exchange, um, highest volume. Uh, so that is pretty cool. And uh, all I will say is that the C I will be seeing the CEO of Bybit in an event that they are hosting next week. Next week, I'm coming, I'm going out to see um, Bybit, basically the team of Bybit, including the uh, the, the, the co-founder, Ben. And um, uh, obviously there, there's uh, some fee structures going on here and I'm trying my very best within this. I'm going to be seeing them next week in person. Um, you know, I'll be, I'll be uh, basically going to try and get you this, this fee structure discount. So uh, some people say our, our, our levels only work because that we're whales. To that, I kind of say touche. We, we, we are. <laughs> but I also on top of that say, hey, I'm going to do some work with them. And I'm going to try my best to get you this fee structure discount. So if that's of interest to you, we'll leave the, those links down in the description below where you can join the Chart Champions team over on Bybit with that affiliate link, of course. And, uh, you know, that's something that I'm going to try and do to give back to the, um, to, the, to the community. And by the way, FYI, if you are interested in seeing the behind the scenes with the with the event that I'm going to be attending with Bybit, uh, you can give us a follow, I don't know, on uh, on, on maybe on on Instagram or uh, I'm probably gonna upload it to Instagram or something like this. I'll, I'll leave the description in the description down below or uh, in the comments section. I'll leave a few links to maybe Instagram and uh, <clears throat> TikTok or something like this. I'm not sure. I'll just just like little behind the scenes footage of you know 
uh, you know, seeing once again the CEO of Bybit there in a, in a Bybit uh, event. So it's going to be really, really cool. So if you want to see that, I'll, I'll leave all the links in the description down below for you. <clears throat> As we see here, Bitcoin still attempting to, to push on up. Um, well, let's take a look at this together then. This is obviously trying to push on up. Should we just take a quick look at the volume that's coming in here? Okay, not that interesting overall. This is obviously a decrease on open interest here on this last candle. Volume is not really that high. It's coming in at about 74 mil on the last candle, but we're seeing decreases in open interest. Overall, not that ex not that exciting of the volume or the range right now. Just currently totally range bound. So there's no reason to think this is going to um, you know, do anything that exciting at the moment. We're seeing, a, yeah, again, this is just continuously decreasing we're just basically seeing a lot of traders that have tried to trade the absolute middle of the range which is never advantageous um basically getting stopped out so of course when we are trading ranges i will always say some people will say oh this is a really choppy range how am i meant to make money on this i would say well there is money to be made inside of these ranges but you do not look to trade the absolute middle of it you want to be trading or towards the outskirts towards the highs or towards the lows and guess what this was a daily on the cc of that of course down here we had that high volume node we look to get involved here and here we do not look to get involved right in the middle of the range and of course these people have got involved in the middle of the range and now they're, 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 they're getting stopped out so you know these are the people that would refer to this as a choppy range how can you make money in such a small uh, range where price is moving so quick and, and the answer of course is you have to have a bit of patience not trade in the middle but wait wait to the actual outskirts of the range is my opinion on that um, and, a, and an announcement to end very briefly here. And of course, that is, <laughs> this was over on the Instagram from a person. Um, a few, few, uh, just something to bear in mind. And that is, uh, I can't play the video. That's, oh yes, I can. Uh, that is, of course, Victor this morning uh, done his uh, live stream analysis. So if you want to catch up on that, that's obviously for all of the members. Every Friday, uh, this no, this is just for the champions now, sorry. The, every Friday, Victor is doing his uh, updates of a live stream. So you can see here this morning already, this was this was actually done at around 8 a.m. UK time. Uh, a a one-hour live stream. <laughs> Not only this one-hour live stream given by the coach Victor, coach George is actually in a live stream right now, which is probably going to last over an hour again, giving you some more information. So you had Victor this morning. You had George and not only George, Coach George has done the one hour live stream. He also does the five to 10 minute daily update as well. So you have this like compact view of the market. Every day you're getting updates. You're always are given the levels. You're given consistent updates of what's happening on the market in so much great detail. Uh, and today there was three, there's already three bits of content. Hour long live stream by Victor, hour long live stream by George, and then a condensed five minute update also by George, Coach George here, which is just uh, a complete package. How can you, how can you absolutely just not love that? Come on. <laughs> I think that's brilliant. Um, anyway, that's, that's is, um, what I just wanted to bring your attention to there is, as I'm going to sign off with a few important words here. So I gave you a, a question at the start of, of, the, uh, of the video of, are you prepared and ready for a very large move to the downside? The answer is, yes, I hope that you are prepared for this. A few key questions that you might have. Why are you prepared for this? Well, you are prepared for this. If this triangle breaks and holds with no fake out to the downside, of course, we've got to trade it level to level. And we know our next level to the downside coming in of the region of this weekly. OK, we are also absolutely prepared and understand that there is no guarantee this is going to break down. And of course, this can break to the upside. All we need to know is not necessarily the way this is going to break. We just need to know the levels that we are going to trade next, period. OK, and when you truly understand that, you know how to you, you know how you are able to extract money from this market. You do not need to know with 100% certainty what's happening next. You just need to know a level that you can take a trade, the invalidation of that trade and the target of the trade. Whether it wins, whether it loses, you are trading only high probabilities. Again, good example right now. Why trade in the middle of the range and you know when when you wait for the higher probabilities on the on the boundaries of the range. Okay, and it's the same case on a swing trader's perspective. Why would you trade uh, not a high probability zone, okay, with really, really weak confluence. Okay, this is not a good idea. You got to wait for these boundaries. Okay, you're not going to win every trade you take. You're going to take losses. It's part of the game. It's normal. It's it's to be expected. But what you do have to do is keep those winners big, like this. Keep those winners very, very, very big. If you need help with that, this was a trade of the week that I gave to all of the champions inside a champions live stream. Uh, so there you go. That that can be of benefit. But you want to keep those winners big. The losses small when they're coming. And uh, just approach this in a probabilistic mindset of, hey, I'm a professional. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to take money. I'm going to exit. I'm going to look to the next trade. 
I'm not going to get greedy. I'm not going to get fearful. I'm going to block the emotions and trade the chart. Ladies and gentlemen, I truly hope that you've enjoyed this video. I truly hope that you've learned something from it. I've given you some perspectives. I've given you the current triangle that we are trading right now, today. And also within this, the smaller range. I remind you one final time, if you want to join the Chart Champions team on Bybit, I will leave that in the comments down below. You can come across creating a brand new Bybit account via our affiliate link, sign up, and you'll be put in that team. Obviously, I'm going to attempt to try and get the discounted fees because the fee structures are changing. You can pause and read this, but basically, I'm going to attempt to get you all bumped up to, to VIP, uh, hopefully a higher level of VIP. Of course, there's no 100% guarantee, but I am going to try my best. And I do have the privilege of actually meeting um, with the, these people for, for an in-person meeting. So this is going to be great. Uh, number one volume team on the whole of Bybit. That's some of the perks that you get for this. And um, yeah, I'll leave the behind the scenes where I'll put this in the comments down below and across a few different social media platforms. So you can go follow us on all of those. And uh, I will just find, sign off by saying... Yeah, if you want more, of course, we got everything going on within the new platform that we have on the on the uh, on the website. So if that's of interest to you, if you want to learn the daily levels, you know, the daily levels, the weekly levels, the order flow and everything in between that we teach chartchampions.com. Like, ladies and gentlemen, hit that like button, hit the like button, give a share to this video. And maybe if we can breach, I don't know. 2,500 likes. I'll try and bring on next time one of the coaches and they can give you an updated opinion on the Bitcoin chart and how we are looking still to trade this on the more longer term time frame. Thank you from myself, everybody at Chart Champions. Hope you have a brilliant day and a weekend. And that is me saying, CC Paul, send their regards. Thank you ever so much and absolutely enjoy your weekend. Thank you and goodbye.